I'm with my little buddy Rammer. You know this guy. <laughs> He's in charge of the NHL franchise. NHL 17 is out. It's uh, it shipped. It's out in the real world. We were talking off camera a little bit about uh, what you are facing. You're laughing at me because I'm up here. Okay, I'll come down here. All right. What you are? Look. Oh my God, this is incredible. It's like looking up into the sky. How are you doing up doing there? Good. Okay, doing good. good. All right. Good. All right. So it's out in the real world. You talked to me about playing with uh, regular folks and uh, getting beat, yeah. but also teaching people that are sort of new to the game some stuff. Tell me a little bit about your experiences being online and and gaming with the real folks out there. Yeah, it's fantastic. You know, get, the game's out there right now. So for me to go online, throw a little tweet out there and get some fans coming in and send me some game invites, to get the feedback from the fans is fantastic. And I was, you know, for us, we start off with this vision of how we want the game to play and see it come together throughout development. A lot of times, a little bit self-fulfilling. Um, we'll play it the way that we want it to play. And then you get out there with all the fans playing it. And everyone's so competitive out there that they're playing to win. So for me to hop on there and see the way that people are actually trying to play it, how they're trying to game the game, get the feedback from them. Sometimes you match up with someone um, you can tell is relatively new. So just trying to understand their experience, putting the disc in through the initial boot flow and get their thoughts. That feedback for us is so, so valuable. And so the other night, I played my first game of Hockey Ultimate Team, down 7-1 early. So it was good to get and hop on the mic and have uh, have this kid chirp me a little bit. 7-1, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Do you feel like the old gunslinger sometimes? You know, like you've got all these kids, these, they, they, they want to sort of take over the town and take away your title when you play them? Absolutely, that's the great yeah. thing. Is everyone's so competitive? I'm competitive too. When I play the game, I play to win. So, <laughs> uh, so if I get up on someone, I don't usually go easy on them, um, and I, I expect the same in return. So I don't mind taking a little seven-one beating. Although I came back, it was seven-five at the end. That's awesome. Okay, well, tell us uh, a little bit about the new stuff in yeah. NHL 17. Why? are the people that buy this game every year lining up to buy the, this one this year. Yeah, really, really proud of the package we have this year. It really is the biggest year on year elite from us. Um, coming off the great foundation from 16, delivering new experiences, so fundamentally new ways to play the game. So a new draft champions mode, uh, franchise mode bigger and deeper than ever before, adding in the element of owners to it. The World Cup of Hockey really relevant right now, the tournament kicking off uh, pretty soon here right after our launch. So new ways to play, going really deep with our customization of the game this year as well, leveraging that for our franchise modes. So you can reload relocate a franchise, start fresh, build your brand up, pick your primary, secondary colors, your logo, customize your uniforms, your pants, your socks, a new arena customization as well, leveraging that customization for our EA Sports Hockey League, so our online team play experience. Our fans have been asking for a progression mechanic as part of the EA Sports Hockey League. So now, um, when you start off the EA Sports Hockey, you're going to start off with a small little rank and minimal customization options. As you start to level up, all that stuff starts to open up. You can really build out your brand identity. So lots of great customization there. Great new gameplay as well. Really working with our fans to focus on control, giving more control than ever before. New goalies, new net battles. And then for those fans that maybe haven't played in a couple of years or newcomers to the franchise, a big focus for us on the onboarding piece. Teaching people how to play, holding their hand through the experience, teaching them how to pass, how to shoot, how to switch player, how to throw a hit. And then as you start to master those skills, uh, just start to ramp it up and teach you the more advanced skills. So we have something for everyone, um, a new default game mode, a default difficulty this year. So when you hop in, a little more arcadey style, you can shoot the puck, score some goals pretty easily, throw big hits with the goal there of you learning the controls and then you know moving on to the more advanced uh, difficulties that we have. That's something that I'm noticing in, in a lot of the sports games these days is this elegance in relaying the information. I think we're a few years into this uh, widescreen HD presentation. You know, we've got great looking players. Yeah. The, the arenas look amazing these days, but now it's really about, you know, teaching your players to become better players and showing the more intricate sort of details of the game and uh, sort of revealing that in a, in a muted, smart, you know, clear, but uh, not in your face kind of way, right? Yeah, I think it's really, really important. I think, you know, we talk about onboarding, we a lot of times talk about just newcomers to the franchise and hold their hand and teach them the basic controls. But it's also about, you know, our core fans that come back every single year and making sure that they get the most out of the experience as well. Yeah. So we spend a lot of time building up the depth and new controls and new mechanics. And with our on-ice trainer, I remember last year, our core fans would come up and say, well, that's great, but I don't probably don't need that. And they leave the trainer on and they're like, oh, you know what? I never knew how to do that reverse grip on a face off or never knew how to do that stride deke or that loose puck deke. So it's really about providing value for everybody and making it feel like they can get the most out of the experience. They continue to advance through the experience itself. 4K gaming is upon us. You know, we've got HDR on both yeah. both platforms now and all of this stuff is, is here. Are you guys doing those updates? Or are you guys already kind of looking at uh, what the 4K future is for NHL? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, things are moving so fast in this industry right now. So just really understanding 4K, what it means to, you know, the industry, what it means to EA, what it means to NHL and, you know, making some uh, intelligent decisions as we move forward here. Awesome. I know a couple of years ago, I think it was with NHL 15, there was a lot of anger and a lot of because there was, you know, features that people were asking for, they weren't there. 
do you feel like you have satisfied all of the the doubters and the naysayers and the negativity and all that stuff? Has all of that stuff been answered? Yeah, and I think, you know, with 15, anytime you move to a new console, there's challenges that come with the new technology. Um, so, you know, 15, we, we built on 15 with NHL 16, brought back all of our key features, added new um, experiences on top of those existing features. And this year uh, was really the first time in this generation of console where we could really go big and add those new experiences in with Draft Champions, going deep with the franchise, the customization, the World Cup of Hockey. So really just adding those new experiences on top of that foundation. So 15 is well behind us now and looking forward to the future. Awesome. One of the big things that we're seeing in uh, sports titles like your own FIFA 17 and uh, the NBA 2K series is the story mode and you know people are putting scripted pieces together with actors is that something that's gonna happen with uh, with NHL yeah I, you know I say this all the time but I think within EA within EA Sports right now we're doing an unbelievable job as a collective group of sharing sharing learning sharing technology sharing designs f sharing feedback um, so with FIFA and their story mode this year really interested to get the learnings coming out of that see what the fans are saying about that experience and then we'll take those learnings and figure out what it means for NHL in the future awesome always great talking with you Sean Good Likewise. luck. Good Thank luck with you. NHL 17, and uh, I'll see you online, buddy. All right, and Thank he will you. kill me. Hey, thanks for checking out that video on our EPN channel. It's just one small part of the things that we make around here. So if you liked it, don't forget to check out some of our other vids and hit that subscribe button.